Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. If you're new here, I follow a ketogenic lifestyle along with the rest of my family. So this grocery haul and meal plan is going to be all things keto. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so because I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family and make sure you follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks. My grocery haul went a little crazy this week. I will get into that in just a second. This is our Walmart haul this week and everything here was $45 and that was with the $10 off discount where you guys use the grocery pickup for the first time and I get a $10 referral bonus so I get to take $10 off. If you've never used the Walmart grocery haul in the past and you want to, I'll have it linked below and you can get $10 off of your first order. It's a great deal. Okay, so I only have a Walmart haul this week, not an Aldi haul. We are going to Sam's and I want to eat up some of the things that are in our freezer so that we have room to stock up. But then it all went sideways. So let's go over the Walmart real quick. I picked up another container of Duke's mayonnaise. It is our mayo of choice. It's got no sugar added. Again, cannot get in with the primal mayonnaise. Picked up some mozzarella cheese. This is the block and I like to shred this down and we use this for our chaffles. Heavy whipping cream. That's for like ice cream, Briley's protein shakes, coffee in the morning. Um, instead of doing the avocados, I just picked up the guacamole. This one is good. It's got nothing in it that's bad and it's got the little individual containers so I don't have to worry about it turning on us. So we got time to eat one of the small ones before it goes brown, like if we buy it in the big one. So I do like this one and we bought it in the past. So I just went ahead and picked it up again. Some veggies. I did pick up another thing of broccoli, even though I probably have three or four in the freezer, but I'm going to be adding broccoli to probably everything this week. We'll do broccoli and cheese. We'll do broccoli with butter. You just load it up. Uh, I did get a tri-colored coleslaw mix and I'm going to make some slaw this week. I got a shredded lettuce. The kids like the shredded, even if I buy the lettuce head, I think it was 20 cents cheaper to buy the lettuce head and shred it up myself not worth it this way it's already ready for them i got the huge bag 36 pack of cheese sticks and that's because briley and preston take one of these just about every day in their lunch preston is still a kid at heart i did pick up a pack of strawberries it was the only thing that they had a good deal on this week and i wanted to have a fruit in the house for the girls Picked up two meats. This was the applewood smoked deli turkey and also the cherrywood smoked deli ham. This is for Briley when she takes wraps in her lunch and Kerrigan will use this. I'll just use these as the wrap and then load them up with bacon and cream cheese and pickles, things like that. Roll them up, put a pick in them and they stick together. So I got another ham. Since I wasn't going to go to Aldi, then I just picked up the big thing of eggs. This is the 36 count. It was like $4. Um, I went ahead and got this many because we love to make chaffles. And I'm going to boil some eggs to make egg salad this week. And also boil some eggs for just eggs. Um, hard boiled eggs for them to snack on. Chris and Briley especially. And I needed another thing of almond flour. Kerrigan's birthday is coming up and I'm going to make some cupcakes and several other treats. And almond flour was definitely on the list of things I needed. Next time I go to Sam's, I'm going to pick up probably two or three of the big bags that they have. And hopefully that will last me the month. And here's where my grocery haul on a budget went sideways. Instead of going to Aldi, I ran into Ingles this week because I wanted to pick up some of the cheese. I am addicted to frying these up into little chunks. It tastes just like a grilled cheese. It's absolutely amazing. So I went in to get two of these and ran into this. Actually, I didn't run into this. Chris asked him if they had the Rebel and it wasn't out in the freezer section yet. So... They went back to the back and said they had three of these and Chris said, okay, bring them out. We'll take them. So we got all of these. In case you don't know, to get Rebel ice cream, I have to drive an hour to a town and then an hour home and it's just not worth it. So we are stocked up for Rebel ice cream for quite some time at this point. 
We have eight of the mint chocolate chip. We have eight of the cookies and cream and eight of the peanut butter fudge. So these will be going in the outside freezer. Also picked up two of the queso blanco. This is new for us. I've never tried it before. It's the kissed. And this is the cherry pomegranate. These are like the ice drinks, zero calorie. It's got less than one carb a serving. There's two servings in here. Um, I picked this one up for Kerrigan just so that she could try it. I feel like that's a flavor that she would like. And then they had their Bang Energy drinks, two for $4. And we are out of the flavors we like. We have several flavors we're not fans of. So went ahead and picked up two peach mango. Chris has been drinking on this one already. So this Ingalls haul ended up being, wait for it, $167 for what you see here. That's it. <laughs> but again, I'm going to save gas, not have to drive two hours to Publix and pick up any Rebel ice cream. Oh, here goes the animals. They're going to start freaking out. But this is my small grocery haul for the week and the price was insanely high because of this. But it's worth it. Did I mention, I don't think I've told you guys, uh, but I don't eat the Rebel ice cream anymore. <laughs> it just does not agree with me. The last time I ate it, I got extremely sick. I am lactose intolerant and I guess I just, it finally caught up with me. A bite here, a bite there doesn't bother me as much. But if I take more than that, it's all over. So, no more Rebel for me, but the girls and Chris still eat it. Welcome to my meal plan for this week. This will be the first week of October. And as you can see from the two different colored inks that it's going to be one of those weeks and it always is. We have a birthday coming up this week. It will be Kerrigan's birthday on the 8th, but we are celebrating with a huge party on the 5th. And the week before any party or birthday, I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely stressed out. Plus, the first week of the month from now on is going to be a huge Sam's haul. So, what we want to do is clean out our refrigerator and freezer so that we can restock for the month. And that was one reason my grocery haul was so small. <laughs> small by meaning few items, not small price. So, let's go over what we're doing this week. Again, a lot of this is going to be cleaning out the fridge. For Sunday dinner, we do big family Sunday dinners. All the kids are here, no phones. We sit down, we eat, we laugh, we talk, we have a good time. There's always dessert. Um, who am I kidding? There's dessert every day. But this week, we're going to be doing grilled chicken. Chris is going to put that on the grill, so that's less stress for me for this week. And I'm going to be making brownies from Keto Candy Girl. Those are pre-packaged brownies and they are so good. On Monday, I'm going to be using up the salmon and shrimp that's in the freezer. So we're going to have a seafood knot and I'm going to steam some broccoli, probably cut the girls up some cucumbers. Um, I think there's some asparagus in there. I'll just throw some veggies together. But my salmon, I stick in the oven, um, whatever time it says on the package. What I'll do is I just coat that with some olive oil or avocado oil and then my seasonings and then just cook it. I think it's like 8 to 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes, and it comes out perfect. And I like to pick the one up that's at Aldi because it doesn't have that fishy taste. There's no bones and the skin's not on it. So that one's a really good one if you've not tried it. So, Taco Tuesday is going to be chicken fajitas, and Briley will probably have like a chicken quesadilla with her low-carb, lean wellness wraps or whatever. Wednesday, that is Briley's extracurricular night. She has an acting class, which, guys, I am struggling. She does not want to go to. She is a shy child, and she does not like to be in front of people. So, on Thursday, again, Chris is going to be grilling out some burgers. I'll be making the chaffles. I'll make the slaw ahead of time. I like to always make it the day before, so I'll probably make that on Wednesday. Again, cut up some cucumbers, uh, some strawberries, things like that. But we'll have some big, thick chaffle burgers that are just loaded down. Maybe some avocado or guacamole for fat. Friday, bring on the stress. 
that's going to be my day of cooking. I'm going to be making Kerrigan's cupcakes for her birthday party, a huge cookie cake um, from Keto Candy Girls Mix. Again, that is amazing. I've showed that before, and it is so good. So I'm going to be making that for her, and a fruit tray, a veggie tray. I'm going to be getting a ton of stuff together for Saturday. So we're going to cook enough burgers on Thursday to have leftovers on Friday. And then Saturday, it's going to be a snacking day. I'm telling you. So we'll have a fruit tray with some fruit dip. We will have a veggie tray with some ranch or something like that. I may make my crackers and a cheese ball. We'll also be having cupcakes and I just feel like we'll be snacking all day. And so the stress begins. And then this is also the girl's last day of school for a week. So I don't even know about next week. Like I said, we've got the birthday girl turning 18 on the 8th. They're out of school this entire week for fall break. Kerrigan's leaving, going out of town with um, some family friends. And she's going to be gone on the weekend pretty much. Just so much going on next week that this week is stressful. But next week will probably be even more so. I do have a new Facebook group I have started. I'll have it linked in the description box. So come on over and we can all support each other on this keto journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.